Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. Last May, President Trump proclaimed the country, quote, and I quote the president here, needs a good shutdown. Tonight, he has brought the country to the brink of that very event, and suddenly it doesn't seem like such a good idea after all. It's been a week since that televised negotiation in which Trump promised for all the world to hear as the camera rolled to sign whatever DACA deal the bipartisan group working on a compromise arrived at. When this group comes back, hopefully with an agreement, this group and others from the Senate, from the House, comes back with an agreement, I'm signing it. I mean, I will be signing it. I'm not going to say, oh, gee, I want this or I want that. I'll be signing it. That seemed clear. But after totally rejecting that deal, the deal they came back with, and throwing in some world-shocking racist invective for good measure, Senate Democrats are plowing forward without the president today introducing the bipartisan bill that the president himself rejected. This agreement gives President Trump every single penny that he asked for, for border security in his budget request. Almost $1.6 billion for construction on the border of barriers and, and all sorts of fences and whatever else is needed, even walls. This was not easy. We came to this agreement and we sent it over and had it drafted. It will be introduced this afternoon. The original three sponsors on the Republican side will be joined by three more. Without a spending deal, the government will shut down Friday at midnight. And without a DACA deal, 800,000 Dreamers faced possible deportation after March 5th, thanks to one man's decision, President Trump's decision to end DACA. Now, today, Capitol Police arrested 82 people seeking to prevent those deportations in the rotunda of the Russell Senate office building. Republicans want to pass a short-term bill to fund the government without any protections for those 800,000 people. But many Democrats are refusing to play along unless the Dreamers are protected. The overwhelming number in our caucus have said they don't like this deal and they believe if we kick the can down the road this time, we'll be back where we started from next time. So there's very, very strong support not to go along with uh, their deal. For his part, President Trump is attempting to place the blame for the possible shutdown on anyone but himself. Today, he described the bipartisan deal that, again, he said he would sign on live television, that he then changed his mind and rejected, the one that included all the money he asked for on border security. He described that same deal as horrible on border security, adding, it's the opposite of what I campaigned for. Trump was reportedly pressured not to sign the deal by immigration restriction hardliners, including John Kelly and Stephen Miller. Today, Kelly, the man who infamously lied to smear Representative Frederica Wilson, went to Capitol Hill to meet with congressional Democrats, a meeting that reportedly ended with no resolution to what exactly the administration wants in exchange for a deal on DACA. According to The Washington Post, Trump's chief of staff also made a stark admission that the United States will never construct a physical wall along the entire stretch of the U.S.-Mexico border and that some of President Trump's campaign promises on immigration were, quote, uninformed. A bipartisan bill introduced today to protect the Dreamers and keep the government open would likely have enough votes to pass. But Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell, in what sure looks like an attempt to protect the president politically, is refusing to allow a vote. I'm looking for something that President Trump supports, and he's not yet indicated <clears throat> what measure he's willing to sign. As soon as we figure out what he is for, then I would be convinced that we were not just spinning our wheels uh, going to this issue on the floor, but actually dealing with a bill that has a chance to become law and therefore solve the problem. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.